Welcome to part two of building a second solar panel. Now this is the exciting time. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be hooking up this second 100 watt solar panel. As you can see, I've already got a 200 watt solar panel. And during the summer months, this 200 watt solar panel is plenty. But during the winter months when the days are shorter, and if you're parked in an area where uh, you've got a lot of trees, you want to be able to move these around independently so you can get great uh, sunlight on them. You can also angle these to the optimum angle so that the sun is on the entire face of the solar panel. During the winter months you will be using maybe a heater, uh, charging up lights and so on. So there is a lot of draw on the solar panels. What we're going to do now is we're going to move inside and we're going to see how the difference uh, it makes to have this second solar panel uh, with the MPPT controller. Now, to assist me today, my wife Lorraine is going to be hooking up the second solar panel so we can see exactly the time uh, and the change in amperage that we get from the time we hook it up. Uh, so Lorraine's going to be the chief solar panel hooker upper and uh, thanks for that Lorraine that you're going to do that for me and that way you'll be able to see the difference that it makes by hooking this second panel up so let's make our way inside well now we're inside the camper and what we're going to do now is we're going to do an experiment uh, as soon as we plug this second uh, solar panel in we're going to see the difference it makes from simply having the 200 watt solar panel to now having 300 watts going into the MPPT controller. Now, what I use is a EP Ever MPPT controller. And what we're looking at now is the simple uh, control panel. So you can keep an eye on what's happening during the day, make sure the voltage is working. What we have hooked up to the controller is our 95 litre Dometic fridge. Now, at the moment, it's just uh, switched off, so we're now getting 6.4 amps going directly into the battery. What we're going to do now is we're going to plug the second uh, solar panel in, and let's just see the difference it makes. Wow, we've now dropped, jumped up to 7.8 amps. So what we've got now is we've got that amount of amperage making its way through the controller. We've got 8.5 amps in the battery. And at the moment, as you can see, there's no load on the battery because the fridge has now turned itself off. What a fantastic uh, jump in power. That's really going to help out during the day. So hopefully by the end of the day, the battery is going to be fully charged and um, we're right to go for the night. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I enjoy making these types of videos to show everyone who's interested in looking how uh, the solar panels work and a simple build that you can do in about an hour to increase uh, the volume of power that you're going to generate into your battery. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have any more comments, leave them below, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Thank you.